Welcome back. I forget where we left off, but let's do the best we can and see how things go. Uh, we'll play a 10 minute game, uh, just a normal rated match. Should we do third file rook today? I am feeling third file rook. Let's... Good luck. That was loud. Senta, I go first. Alright. It's possible I made some move ordering faux pas there. Um, there's just a lot of details to remember. Okay, we'll play half Mino and or Mino Castle. There's the Mino castle. Uh, we'll push the edge pawn as we are supposed to do. This is interesting. Fourth file. Oh, well, I did give them this possibility. Um, let's put more pressure on the edge. And I'm not sure what we do about this gold here. Um, I mean, no, that's high Mino, yes. The gold doesn't intend to advance further. Um, let's put our king to safety here. All right, they put their silver away from their castle, so... <sighs> Where does this bishop belong? Um, yeah, I guess we will complete the Ishida formation. Um, all right, and I need to figure out where this silver belongs to. I am surprised to see that pawn moving so quickly here. Is that, I mean, my knight is in some danger, I might have to sacrifice the knight, but, um, yeah, it's strange. Alright, we're going to sack the knight for an attack, and hope that the attack is reasonable. I'm stunned to see this castle just moving about, so we're going to strike while the iron is hot. Control the center square and give my bishop other spaces to go to. Right, and then that's threatening to hit my rook and bishop at once, so the bishop does need to withdraw here. Or the rook needs to move. Um, hmm. Interesting. I'm sorry, pa perhaps neither of those things are necessary. Um... Drop the rook back, just out of paranoia. 
分。7分Our bishop, our bishop will find a different way to enter the game. Yeah, this king looks a bit exposed. So let's see if there's some way we can continue attacking here. Let's bring the silver forward, extending the range of the rook, reducing the burden.、Um, All right, they're looking to open this side of the board. <sighs> Wait, I don't have a 5 5 pawn anymore.、Um... Yeah, let's just attack. This attack seems overdue. Um, decisions. Bishop's not doing anything back here other than supporting this attack.、Um, the rook can easily go anywhere else. The bishop's a bit constrained. Let's make the bishop a target. So that we can just explode this castle.、Um. Um, Oh, my rook is exposed. I should be concerned about the bishop attacking my lance and rook.、Um, yeah, let's deal with that. Pawn drop. Gosh darn it. Pawn drop is very strong there. I'll force my rook to go to the center file. But it does. Oh! Okay. That's an error.、Um, Let's threaten this. I don't know what's going to happen next, but、uh, that bishop is dangerous and mine is not, so let's do something. Exciting. Let's do this unpredictable move. 
Exchange that off. Take the free token. And if they move the rook there, that's a free rook. <sighs> that was exciting. We need a lighter attack. That was a very heavy attack and a heavy defense. Um. They do know piece, you can just drop pieces on the board, right? I mean, they've made it very high in the ranking system as is, but... Um, I wonder if we're playing some kind of variant where drops just don't happen as often. Um... Okay, so I'm going to exchange silvers, and then my dragon is going to have some fun. Unless I have mate here already, and perhaps I do. Then fun would just be unnecessary. Alright, good game. Oh, that was exciting. Ooh! We got, uh, I think this is mentioning that since we've reached 5Q, I could actually purchase a Menjo. But, um, let's just play another game. That was an exciting game. Good luck. Right. Central Fall Rook, here we go. You never let me down before. <laughs> Alright, this is exciting. Whatever it is that we're doing. If they push any of these pawns, I push the center pawn and I just win a pawn. But that makes my bishop super prone and yeah, okay. Could be extremely ill-advised to try to win a pawn here. Let's just castle. Uh, I forgot about that. Whatever. I think I'm fine. Normally I'd be panicking here, but... Um, I think it's okay to play this way. So I'm threatening to chase the knight here. Um, for the longest time, I the the rook on bishop pressure there would have me terrified. But here, um, yeah, I think I'm, this is just a okay. Um, Because there's no way to like get there's no easy way for them to defend this knight or to defend anything here at all so yeah they did early 
win a pawn, but um, their position is imperiled. Um, I have no idea how to handle this, though. <laughs> it's my first time playing something this crazy. Um... I do think I just want a castle. Try to play a normal game. Um, I mean, at this point I've accepted that my rook's going to promote and that I have tons of threats, and that their bishop is cut off, and their king is exposed. And I'm trying to get my king to finish castling here before uh, the battle starts. Uh, my attempt was unsuccessful. But what are they trying to do? Other than disrupt me. I don't know. So I'm threatening to move up the bishop and trap their king, but surprisingly. Um, I shouldn't be able to trap the king this early in the game, but, um, you know, this is a really aggressive opening. I guess anything could happen. Right, so they're trying to castle. Um... Their rook, or sorry, their king is aligned with my rook. So this makes for some exciting tactics. Um, without even having to read it all out. Obviously if they block with the rook or the gold, I'm, bishop takes, has to mate here. So yeah, this is the response I expected. I don't know if it's best. But for sure, we've got an exciting position on our hands here. Um, God, what a weird position. What a strange position. So if I push the pawn, if they take it, if I move my rook, um, they could block with their rook. Oh, okay, wait. Yeah, I'm just so confused here. I am so confused because everything is hanging. No, no, no. Um, so if I promote the rook, if they block at the rook, I don't necessarily have a crushing response. I would like to have a lance. Let's finish castling. That's ridiculous, but my king is so exposed in the center. I don't need to rush anything here. Um, I've got all the time in the world to get my attack to succeed. So let's not risk anything. Meanwhile, I don't know what they do to try to salvage this. Um, They could try to bring their bishop back, and we could exchange bishops, and I, I don't know if that makes things better or worse. I 
This is so complicated. I feel like I'm missing something obvious, and I probably am. But at this point, it probably doesn't matter either. If I had spare moves, the knight would just come up here, and that'd be that. But that takes one, two, three moves to get the knight here. And the knight would take that along the way, so... Yeah, what can you do? So they played the Rook Drop anyway. Um, that just loses the Rook. I think. My rook is hanging too. <laughs> oh, I did not finish castling. Thankfully, this does not matter. Oh my goodness. Well, that is a whole lot sharper than I thought it was. If my king were one square over, we would have at least some confidence that this bishop fork doesn't completely <laughs> change the evaluation. This bishop fork in theory, could somehow radically change something. In practice, probably not. Alright. So. Yeah. We'll continue chasing this. Well. Yeah. We continue chasing the rook. I need a rook here. I was tempted to drop the bishop to go after this rook, but... Um, the rook escapes, so we do things this way instead. Um, Okay, we are going to win the rook for free. Or at least exchange both the bishop and the gold, or be able to if we want to. Yeah, this is... We have some threats here, is my point. Oh, earlier I was commenting about how the knight could advance. I forgot Pontic's knight. <laughs> it's right there, so... Yeah, that's weird. Um... Right, let's take one of those. Let's take one of these. Now we have two rooks. Um, Go for me. Now we're going to have two rooks and a lance. Or rather, we have a rook and a dragon. And now we have a lance to add to our stockpile of pieces. Um... So let's have the lance join the attack. And yeah, I'm not sure what more I need to attack with here. Oh, okay, they block their bishop. I did not expect that. Um... Let's just light everything on fire, shall we? Alright, that is a fork. I did miss this fork. 
Um, Just move the dragon one step closer and threaten the skull drop. Um, so they'll need to drop their rook somehow to defend against that, and I guess they'll just stick it next to my rook or something. My attack keeps getting delayed. This is not good. I can drop a gold to hit the bishop and the pawn supporting the bishop. That's probably a reasonable next step. Falling for this bishop fork is painful. Alright. Um, they give me a free tempo. I will use that free tempo. Something. So we strike the bishop and the pawn supporting the bishop. This rook is misplaced. It does protect the silver, but the silver is not the thing that needs protection here. Yeah, I, this lance drop is this lance was placed in not a great spot, and the fact that I walked into a bishop fork is not helping me. Um, but still, we and we pers we make progress. Um, do I have to save a piece here? Hope not. Guess we need to keep the lance to keep our dreams alive. This whole position's upside down. Okay, that helps tremendously. Thank you. I don't understand. That... Oh, okay, well that's the purpose of their move. Um, I'm still kind of not understanding this, but... I get where they're coming from, I just don't think I... Hmm. I mean... Yeah, this is so strange. Oh, I've blocked my Night Fork idea. Um, that's unfortunate. I don't even want the pawn, I just want to be able to drop a pawn right next to their bishop. Or drop other pawns on their side of the board. So. Yeah, I'm not looking to try to grab a pawn or anything. It's just this is the way that if they do take this, uh, I have something I can do. If they don't, I guess my pawn slowly advances. I guess that's okay. Um, I 
That's surprising. Are they going to put their rook on 5-5? Five, five? No. They're going to abandon their king. Um, I would like this bishop. Can I have this bishop? Thank you. I will take the bishop. All right. There must have been a better way to do this. Perhaps the night drop first was better. Sanjubio. Oh, that was stupid. I have no knight. That's a problem. That's not great. Zikangide. Good game. Yeah, no, I'm just hanging all my pieces. Let's play another game. And perhaps this time I won't drop so many pieces. Good luck. I picked something extremely aggressive. I'm not entirely convinced it's sound.
I meant to play this rook move a few turns ago. I'd forgotten that I meant to play it. Um, oh, fuck. That hurts. Um, whatever. <laughs> I forgot that the rook could take the bishop. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Well, on the bright side, my rook could go over here. <laughs> this is, again, more aggressive than I thought for. Oh my god. What have I done? I don't even know. But, um, interesting. Uh oh, uh oh. Well, let's let's stay true to the gambit. <laughs> Having like accidentally gambited the bishop here, um, yeah, that's not good. But perhaps we can make an actual gambit of that somehow. Oh my gosh. Uh. You know, in chess, sometimes, like, you would offer a draw out of politeness. I don't know what the shogi equivalent to try to do a polite, like, we never meant to go here sort of thing it'd be. But I think their position's still better. Um, but my goodness, I don't think either of us had intended this particular thing to happen. Um, I rook has promoted. Um, what a bizarre position. Yes, they're up an entire bishop, but I have a dragon. Right. I have a dragon and a knight. And the knight could fork the rook and the silver. Yeah, unfortunately in Shogi there are no takebacks, or I would offer to take back like my bishop sack the first time. But having accidentally committed to it, uh, like, intentionally sacking it on 7-3 just loses, so. We have to do it this way. Um, okay, this is complicated too, because now they threaten to entirely ensnare my rook. Um... I think I need to attack vigorously here. Yes. Yes, we have a Shogi live stream. Who'da knew? Who'da thunk it? Um, my goodness, this position's confusing. I want a gold. I want a gold general. And the gold general fits right there. This game is so... This reminds me of Bug House. You will see the wildest tactics in Bug House. And I think also in Shogi. Whoa. Oh my god. Uh, I have no idea what's going on anymore. Let's take that. 
Um, so I threaten a rook drop next to their king. Um, I'm not sure if other rook drops might be useful, but they could block here. And that potential to block, I guess I just take whatever they block with and then move the gold away and repeat ad nauseum. But um, yeah, the rook drop right next to the king. And then, well, I don't have a follow-up check here. This game is so strange. Yeah, I apologize for lack of kanji. Uh, I would use kanji, except my eyes just cannot differentiate them on this display. So I'm stuck using this set uh, where I can actually read it. I would use kanji if I could actually read it on this display. Um... So, if ever they release a, a version of this UI where the kanji are just large enough that I can read them, I would very gladly adapt to that. Alright, well that makes game number three today. Huzzah! We've reached 4Q. I, I mean no insult to my opponent. Um... If somehow I did something, I mean, obviously a lot of very strange things happened this game. I think their position was better for much of it. Um, but my, uh, yeah. Like, I would have, there's no offering of a draw in this game, unfortunately. I mean, I could force a repetition or something, but I don't know if that'd be seen as mean. But, uh, so here's our final position. I think previous to this, uh, looking from their point of view, I don't know how... To, oh, there's the reverse button. Uh, here's... Uh, I think when... Sometime around here. Yeah, I think I like their position better. I think all they have to do is just not give me the knight. And I think they their position, they're just up a bishop. My attacking prospects are very limited here. Um, I'm sorry, this probably doesn't cast well on stream. Let me try this perspective. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I think this... Um, they just have to move the knight away. And I think their position is excellent, and I have very few attacking chances. So, yeah. Um, either way, uh, what a series today. All right, uh, so thanks for watching, and have a good night.